Lunging 101, take two. So probably one of the hardest parts about lunging is getting the horse to start off. So Riley's getting organized. Her, her line isn't butterflied, but at least it's organized. So you have to get behind the horse to send him away from you. And obviously it's a lot harder without a lunge whip, but, but this particular horse already knows how to lunge, right? So this walk, he could be a little bit more active. Right, it's amazing what a little cluck will do, right? But the walk is good. I mean, he's over tracking at the walk. When we used to lunge sporty, he used to completely freak out. But now he's getting used to this. So whenever you're ready, we're just gonna go ahead and ask him to trot on. Right, you gotta be a little bit more aggressive, you know? If you want something, you gotta go for it. Weeha! That's the sporty we know. Yeah, oh yeah, this great stuff. So just get behind him and send him forward. <laughs> All right, good. So, you know, he's acting out and he can do whatever he wants to do. And we're just gonna stay calm and try to put him in a positive direction. Good, that's fine. So you have to stay behind him so that he doesn't turn in on you. Okay, so a lot of times you read in the books and they say, uh, stand still, don't move when you lunge your horse. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you got to sort of walk a little circle to stay behind the horse to keep him out in front of you, just like if you were, you know, were riding. You want the horse out in front of you. So, so this is way more positive than <laughs> standing in one spot and acting like a broken bucko because he's getting out his energy in a nice way. So every time he goes to put his head up, you want to take a feel with the lunge line and try to ask him to flex and stretch, which is also another way you have to get his attention. Right, and of course he's distracted, which is fine. He could be anything he wants to be. It's our job to bring him into focus, right? All right, so it's sort of hard. Good, anytime you think he might stretch, then you offer, good. And then when he goes to bring his head up, you want to try to slide and take a contact. And then when he's going to stretch, you're going to offer. Now, it takes a lot of coordinated skill to do this because you got to stay, you know, rather interactive. So it's much easier just to sort of put the horse in sliding side reins or uh, side reins and just get him to be round that way. Good. So there's many different ways to train the horse on the lunge. Yeah, and if he canters, it's fine. Good. So we're just letting him work out his uh, the stress he carries in his top line. Don't ask me why. <laughs> he, <should. laughs> he does a little Arab head fling thing. So once again, yeah, then there you offer, and now you ask. Right, and then you offer, then you ask, and you offer. So the goal is to try to keep them all down there stretching the whole time. So he's releasing all the tension he's harboring in his body. Good. And you can see the uh, abdominal muscles tightening, which is his back. Good. And then I would ask him to walk just to walk and then you stay behind him when he walks so he doesn't turn in on you so walk good and stay behind him so he doesn't turn in on you and because he acted out and acted like a nincompoop let's go ahead and ask him to trot on again to right right <laughs> see so we didn't get it all out of his system yet good but it was much better. <laughs> a lot of less acting out than what he started with. <laughs> there was a tail flip. Good. So you know, when we, when we lunge the horse and want him to stretch, we want him to work his whole top line from tail to pole, just like if we were um, riding the horse. That's all right, good. And then you ask. And then you release. And then you ask by taking a con and then you release. Ask and release. Good. 
and I'm going to ask him to walk again. Look, he's listening to me, and now you're going to ask him to trot again. Good. So this time he didn't act out, which is good. And then we'll ask him to walk again. Good boy, sporty. And then stay behind him and keep him walking. And then when you ask him to hoe, you're going to sort of step to the right, which blocks his forward motion. All right? Yep. Just step to the right. Got to be quick about it. You can't be slow. It's like lunging a horse is like playing tennis. You have to be quick. Quick on your feet. Good. And we're done. All right. So you always make sure that line never touches the ground because you never want him to step in it. It's extremely hard to organize all of that. Good.